a new game plan for local football coach. Darren Chenault is in stage four kidney failure. He wears multiple hats. This Muller High School assistant head football coach is also a UC police officer who's giving it his all every day. I, I just remember just coaching football, you know, and then it was over at Moeller High School, and I was, I was tired. I was real tired, and I thought it was just an, an age thing. I thought I was getting older. Um, I'm a high energy guy. I like to run with the kids. Um, I like to be involved with the kids, but I found myself out of breath, tired all the time. And I, I recall going home and, you know, going to the doctor and stuff like that. And, I, I had issues with kidney failure a while ago, but I didn't know it was gonna get up to this point right now. The diagnosis, kidney failure. The options, a donation or dialysis. Darren says there are some days when it's challenging to get up and find the energy, but he always finds a reason to fight it. You're talking about dialysis. And you know, this is the stuff you see on TV. I, you know, dialysis to me, it was a no, like it couldn't be me. So I remember sitting in the car and I sat there for a while, you know, tears came down my face because you, you don't want to put your family through that. I get my strength from my family. I get my strength from my kids. You know, the, the youngest is all about resilience. My oldest is all about dropping that anchor, that anchor being family. Back of my head, I had a plan. Every coach, every police officer, we have a plan. And my plan was, you know, my wife or Somebody close to me, my sister would be my donor. I remember my sister calling me while I was at practice and she goes, I'm not a match. <laughs>uncle had got diagnosed a little bit after COVID. Well, my uncle used to watch me when I was younger and we just had a special bond. My dad was actually a basketball guy. My uncle's a football guy. When my dad used to work a lot, um, my uncle would watch me. So he was super young, he was like 17. Just thinking about everything he's done for me, introduced the game of football to me. He's been like an older brother. You know, our family is all about helping people. Kind of pride ourselves on, you know, being public servants. And I started thinking about just like, what would my dad do? Because my dad passed away when I was like 24, 25. And I was just thinking about like, what would he do? Because he was like my hero, my everything. And I think he would have told me to do it. You know, I pride myself on just being different. You know, making sure that, you know, I'm doing something positive in this world. And, you know, who else better to do that for than someone you love? I kind of always knew, like I told my wife, I was like, I feel like I'm going to be a match. Uh, Aaron called me and said that he was a match. It was okay, but it wasn't okay because I don't want anything for my kids. I, I struggle with that because my brother's gone. And, and to me, I was supposed to be the one to take care of my my nephew. Before the sur surgery, like a couple days before, super nervous. I have two little kids who's my life and you know, obviously my wife. Um, and there were times where I would wake up and I'd be like, I'm doing it. And then there was times where I felt like, you know, maybe this isn't for me. After the surgery, I felt a sign of relief, kind of like a, you know, a weight was lifted off my chest. Um, and I was just very happy that knowing that I could help my uncle have a better life. I know after the surgery, um, Aaron called me, he, you know, he's in one room, I'm up in intensive care and Sherry brings me the phone and it's him and he, he's breaking down. I don't think he realized what he, he's done for me. And we were having that talk. I was kind of hurt because I couldn't go downstairs. And when he came up to the room and it's, it's him, my two daughters, Sherry, and we're all in that room, it was kind of a man, you made this, you got this done. But I needed him to be in the room. I, I need to see him, I need to put eyes on him. I, I think every good parent, when something major goes, by, goes on, they need to see their kid. I, you know, and he's like one of my kids. I needed to see him in order for me to be whole again, I guess you could say. My daughter was a senior and they had parent night down here at the University of Cincinnati. And, you know, we came down to support her, and I'm sitting up there looking at the scoreboard, right? And I, I kind of know this Life Center, and they show um, Oscar Robinson. I know it's Peyton Manning was up there. All these celebrities, so to speak, were up there. And I'm thinking, why ain't Aaron Chenault up there? You know, Aaron played football here. Aaron did this, and when you get down to it, he donated, donated me a kid. His name should be up there. 
So when I came back to work, that was like a priority of mine. I did some digging and I, I looked it up and I called somebody and <laughs> I told her, I said, hey, I got a story I want to share with you guys. And at the end of the day, yeah, I, I wanted Aaron to be up there because of what Aaron did at such a young age uh, with young kids. And knowing what Aaron did, Aaron gave me a little bit more time. You know, I'm just happy that when I look into my cousin's eyes, um, Kennedy and Sydney, that, you know, I know that I, I helped them too, right? Because they're gonna have their father longer than I did. So, you know, that's always something I was thinking about too. Like, what can I do to, you know, contribute to our family?